Oh baby, give me one more chance. Hello everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Haim album titled Something to Tell You. Haim are a indie pop, pop rock trio, should I say, uh, from America, and they dropped their debut album four years ago titled Days Are Gone, which um, was well received. It did well in sales, and a lot of people suddenly were interested in what Haim were doing. They broke out in a fairly big way considering it was only their debut album and I for one wasn't that into it to be honest. I thought there was only about three or four great songs on there and like the second half of the album was so lacklustre that I just didn't really care for it and haven't listened to since it came out. But there is no denying that that album had some of the best singles of 2013 with tracks like The Wire especially, I absolutely love that song, that was in like my top 5 songs of the year, uh, Falling was another great song, and also Forever. Although these tracks were very blatantly like 80s throwbacks, you know, the influence of Madonna was very strong in a lot of their tracks, as well as a bit of Michael Jackson too, it was kind of like the throwback that was necessary because it wasn't like they sounded like they were just an 80s band, it was a really good nostalgic feel to their music that worked in a really good modern way. And even four years later, I still regularly play these tracks, even for Friends as well, I think they're really good pop songs. And even four years from now, I still feel like I'll be recommending these songs to people, because they're so damn good and catchy. However, with this new album, I don't think four years from now I'm going to be talking about any of these songs. I'm not sure what I was expecting from a new Haim album, but I got worse than I could have ever imagined, to be honest. They led off this album with the track Right Now, which was pretty promising because they released a live version and I honestly thought the atmosphere to that track was fantastic. I really loved the way the chorus like came in and everything sounded so organic and real and fresh and I did a track review of it as well and I still think that version of the song is really good. But then now, on the album version, it just sounds completely different. I don't know how it sounds so different, but the recording of it just sounds m like messy. It sounds mismatched. It sounds like there's some elements of the track that don't fit it at all. And that actually rings true with a lot of these tracks on this album. Especially on the track Kept Me Crying, where the vocals and like the drum beat just don't like match at all. Like it, the vocals sound quite badly recorded, and the song itself just sounds a little demo ish. I, I, I don't know what was going on here. And not even that, but even on like a lot of these other tracks, like You Never Knew, the vocals just sound so like whispery and kind of like not even hardly there. I, I don't know, I feel like they've just gone in this softer pop direction that just doesn't have any kind of excitement to it at all. The grooves on Haim's music have just completely gone. I feel like they've just decided to ditch all the great catchiness that they had on their debut and now they've just left us with this bland, sterile album. I mean, sure, the lead main single to this album which was Want You Back um, was pretty good, I mean it's got a good groove to it like you'd expect from their debut but it still kind of sounds a bit watered down in comparison to what they had on that first album. But really that track is the closest thing we get to that 80s throwback which Haim do so well, everything else on this album isn't coming anywhere near as good as what their potential is. Because the thing is, they are a really talented group. Haim have a great bass player, the vocalists are all really good and they harmonise really well, but they've just not played to their strengths on this album at all. This was an issue that I had with them on their first album, because I could see that there was potential in the group, they just hadn't quite reached it yet, but like it's taken them four years to get to this point now on their sophomore album, and they're still even like further away than they were originally. Ultimately, I feel like this album to me sounds like a band trying their hardest to do a good impression of Haim making like a Haim ripoff album but getting nowhere near. Which is weird as fuck because they're only on their second album and it sounds like they're out of ideas so early on. I, I don't know, this is a big disappointment for me. I think Haim are still a good band, like they're still a good group, they will put out better music in the future I'm sure but this was not the direction they should have taken. 
Lyrically, I suppose these tracks are okay, but it's kind of like a rinse and repeat of what they did on that first album, except this time it's backed by boring, bland instrumentals. I'm gonna have to say this is a D minus. I don't hate Heim by any means, I think they are a good group, like I've already said. But Heim fans, surely you all know that this is not the best that they can make, surely. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. If you did like this review, though, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, channel for more reviews. Um, I did do a track review of the live version of Right Now. I'll put that in the description. Listen to that song, because that is pretty great. But other than that, this album is pretty boring to me. Let me know of what you think of this sophomore slump in the comments. If you did like it, then let me know. And also, have a good day.